Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Um, I had someone ask me a question about some more of the interface customization. So I want to talk a little bit about that and I want to talk a little bit about this lovely little tool right over here, right? This tool is basically um, what's called the Command Finder and it's a super powerful tool. Um, I know other CAD systems and other tools have tried doing something similar, but I really think Siemens went out of their way and did something fantastic. So, Command Finder. I'm going to go ahead and search for a tool. You'll notice I don't even have it spelled out completely. I want what's called slope analysis. So, if I go in here and do my search, what happens is, is it, it, it's going to do what it can to find the tool based off of the input. And again, it's not, not wholly spelled out, but it knows that, hey, slope analysis is the closest thing that I can find to it. It uh, um, shows me uh, the tool gives me a little description of the tool and if I move over the top of this you'll notice that it shows me where the tool is located at in the ribbons you'll see here initially I started out in, in, on the home tab but as soon as I went to slope analysis it switched over to analysis and then it goes all the way to the very end right over here and it shows you hey there's slope now um, you can see down at the bottom we have a show ribbon path, show border, bar path, and show menu path. So this is the path right here in the ribbon, and this is the path in the menu. And you can turn those off, clean that up a little bit, show ribbon path. Oh, there's my ribbon path. Now, if I also um, turn on what's called FIDE commands and current application only, you'll notice that a lot of times when you're doing a search it's going to dig up every single command ever and if you don't have the appropriate license for a tool uh, this there's a lot of tools in NX it'll show you all sorts of things so you want to make sure you turn on the uh, uh, current application only that way it'll uh, it really cleans up what you're looking at now um, once I come over to the top of this you'll notice I have this little down arrow if I go to this little down arrow and click on it you get these various options. Add to ribbon tab is the top one. Well, what tab do I want to add it to? So you can go ahead and add this somewhere really quick. Home, surface analysis. So if I wanted to add it to the analysis tab, it'll move it and pull it out and it'll actually put it into this tab for me. So if I say analysis, you'll see that it, oh, there it is. There's my slope. Now, I could say add to top border bar, add to bottom border bar, left, right. So these are the border bars. If I want it on the border bar, let's say add to bottom border bar, you'll see it puts it down in the middle there. Also, I can, if I, if I click on it, you'll notice it starts the command. All right, so it takes you right to that command, or I could just say, hey, start command right over there. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's going to take you to whatever tool it is you want. So this is a nice way to quickly customize your interface is uh, being able to find a tool under the command finder and then adding it to the toolbar wherever you want to add it to the toolbar. So now at this point, I'll just close that out. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm just going to go into customize. And for this, I realize I don't want it down at the bottom. So I'll just pull it off from the bottom. And so there is my slope command at the very top. Now, once again, the nice thing about these border bars is that they're always going to be active. It doesn't matter which uh, or which ribbon you're in, which application you're in, those will always be active. So as you add things to these, if there's something that you know you're going to use from, it doesn't matter which ribbon you're in, you're always going to use these certain tools, you may want to start putting them into these border bars. It's a very, very nice, useful tip. That's what I've done with some of these tools up here. So, um, for example, if I just scroll down and say, you know what, I'm, I know for a fact that I'm always and forever going to use, uh, let's say, four-point surface. And I grab that and I put it down at the bottom border bar. I'm going to close this out. If I switch this around, you'll notice that these ribbons change. Okay? Those ribbons do change. But the border bars always, no matter what ribbon you're in, will work, will always, always be there. So that's a, that's a very useful hint for, uh, for some people being able to customize their interface just the way they want because there's tools that they use constantly. Um, something that I've been toying with 
on the left border bar or the right border bar, depends on which side you like your uh, part navigator on or navigators on, is putting some tools right here. So there's some tools that I know that I'm going to use over and over again. Maybe uh, the edit background. You know, maybe I'll leave that up there. Maybe some of these functions. There also may be things that in regards to the navigators. So if I go to, let's say, expand, maybe I could spell it first. So you have all your expand, expand to loaded, expand to reported, expand to selected. So you know if you do a lot of work in the navigator, you just want to expand to selected. You can just do something like that. Expand to visible. Expand to work. And so on. Now this is going to allow you to uh, use those tools that are available in the part navigator. So if I go to the part navigator and, and right mouse click, you'll see these tools are there for you to go in and use and grab right away. But again, if uh, a lot of times it's you don't want to have to go all the way through part navigator right mouse click, you know, maybe you have maybe you have something highlighted and you say, hey, expand to selected, you'll notice that it expands right to that selected. So you don't even have to go right mouse click. So I like to put some of these functions, like the, as you can say, make current feature, and I've been playing around with it, just getting used to the new interface for myself, is uh, putting them on the border bar on the side of the navigator is on. And again, I typically work with my navigator docked on another page. So what ends up happening is, when it's docked on my other, or other monitor, not at the page. When it's docked on the other monitor, this will be that border on your monitor, so you can quickly now navigate and use those tools that you know you're going to use over and over again um, from that right mouse click. So anything you see here, you want to find as that command. Go ahead, find that command, drag it, drop it, place it where you want uh, in the border bar. Boom, done. Super easy. And again, those don't change. Those do not change. Those always stay there so you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's just speeding up your interface, how you work. It's a great set of tools, great way to customize the, um, the command finder. Again, super great, super, super great. Uh, let's do this. You know, you type in what you want, hit enter, and these are all the tools available to me with the word blend in them and again you can take these and you can you can put them on top of uh, your ribbon wherever you want you got your help commands all sorts of great stuff good job NX good job uh, fellows at Siemens thank you anyway um, hope you learned something hope you liked the video if you have any questions comments please leave them down below